Hey guys, Warren C. Welcome to the channel. Got an opportunity to do another collab with Camera Mall in Ann Arbor. This time I've been given the X-T5 to use for a few days. And I plan on getting in a on location shoot with it. I plan on getting out and doing some street photography with it. Probably a photo walk with a group. But I wanted to just throw this real quick video up on my initial thoughts on the camera itself, how it feels in my hand and so forth, and some, some thoughts around it and, and, and what's going on with the X100V right now. So right away, you guys seeing my fingers there, you know, I'm two fingering this. This camera reminds me of definitely when I had the X-T2, when I briefly had the X-T3. Um, the grip is definitely not as big as it was on the X-T4. Um, it's the original screen that came on the, there we go, came on the X-T 2 and 3. Uh, and I think it fits this camera. I think all the dials and everything fits this camera. This is what the X-T series is all about. Um, when it comes to the X-H line, I mean, there you go. There's that difference in the grip. Um, this camera is a lot more comfortable for me to hold. I fell in love with the X-H1 when it came out and got it right away. This is the line for me. I just, because of that ergonomics, I just love the way that feels. Um, the fact that these cameras will have almost the same features in them, I still would go toward this one, even shooting street with it, because it's it's about the comfort level you have using your gear, your equipment. So, but with that, the thing that surprised me originally when I picked this up and got it home was how when you put the 27 mil WR, the f2.8 2.8 lens on here how it compares to the x100v there the x100v actually looks like it's about the same size if not bigger um let me get the half case off so we can do a better comparison here but i know that right now the market for the x100v is ridiculous um and there you are let me take the lens cap off so you can get a better uh, an idea, let me get my little Nissan filter off here on the X100V, but when you look at these two cameras, there we go, hopefully I'm doing a good job here, um, they're almost the same size. And for what the used market is, is going for for this this, this camera is ridiculous. Um, I'm not mad, you know, because I've had mine for the day it was announced. Um, I had an order in and so I've had this for a while and I love it. Um, it's definitely worth the praise it gets for sure. But for what I've seen this go for or is going for on the used market and at $2,400, $2,500, and then even some instances even closer to the three grand mark, you can get the W, the 27 mil WR 2.8 lens along, along with the X-T5 body only for what 20 something as well you're talking 400 for the lens 1800 for the body that's basically 2200 dollars for a very capable street setup which i am looking forward to using this this way I plan on using the 30 macro on it as well like i did with the xh2 in a video i just released recently but man you talk about um a street monster right now with the way this setup is yeah, I am excited about getting that sensor and the new processor and the new ser or newest, I should say, X100V or X100 series camera. And I'm super excited about it showing up in the X Pro series as well. But hey, just my quick thoughts, just rambling here. Just again, when I grabbed it, I was like, wow, yeah, I remember why I, I gravitated toward the... Uh, XH line to begin with when it came up the XH1 came out. This is just way more comfortable to me than the XT series. But I do know why I love this series, and that's because of the dials, that's because of the look, you know, that screen. This is this is a great street photography setup in my opinion. Yes, folks use it for other reasons, other you know, weddings and so forth, and you can. I just for me that's that's part of the the look and part of the feel and experience for me. So 
just wanted to get my thoughts out on it since I got it in hand. Wanted to let you know how I felt. You know, let me know if you agree or not in the comments. Like and subscribe. Again, I got some videos that I'm gonna be working on once I get out with this camera and get some uh, experience with it and take some images and share with you guys. Have a good one and see you on the next video.